Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here. And I'm Soylent Greg. And welcome to a very special video here on Squeeze the World Toys. <laughs> uh, for one thing, uh, Hi, YouTube. <laughs> for one thing, Greg is here. Greg normally doesn't uh, hey. join us on the uh, the toy based ex expeditions, excursions, uh, whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah doing a very special thing. Um, the video itself is inspired by the magnificent Few Adams, uh, the Transformers reviewer extraordinaire. Uh, seriously though, if you haven't seen his stuff, um, it's really entertaining, very good stuff. I have a link to his channel in the description, and if by any uh, if by any chance uh, if he was watching this, then simultaneously thank you for inspiring this video, and <laughs> we're sorry that we're copying you. <laughs> And screw you for giving him the idea, because I don't know how he's going to do this. It's going to be fun. So the, the name of this game is uh, Ten Shots, Ten Bots. Uh, Patrick is going to review a random Transformers toy, which I have placed in this special box. Yep. This hidden box. And uh, each one of them, before he reviews each one, he is going to do a shot of hard liquor. Yep. We've got... Actually, three hard liquors, three hard uh, liquors. on tap here tonight. We yeah. have um, Jim Beam Kentucky Fire, which is, of course, the official shot liquor of Squeeze the World. The official, yeah, if they would like to spot, if Jim Beam Kentucky Fire <laughs> would like to reach, if Mila Kunis would like to reach out and sponsor Squeeze the World, um, Jim Beam is true American Slav, so... Yes. Absolutely. And Greg has supplied some Jameson Irish whiskey. Jameson, the good shit. Um, I think I tried it one time, didn't care for it, but I'll... Uh, at least have one shot of each thing. Irish man. <laughs> also part Scottish. Drink, and you don't drink Jameson. Um, and, and some of this fantastic El Dorado uh, aged rum. 12 uh, years old, wow. Yeah, he's, uh, I don't believe you've had it before, but it's no. real good. It's real I've, good rum. I'm mostly familiar with like Captain Morgan and Kraken. And I didn't and want Black him Seal. to just straight do 10 shots of Jim Beam. Yeah, that was, that was actually initially the plan. We are. I watched your video, and we are drinking better alcohol than you did <laughs> in ten shots. Well, to, to be fair, in the second one, he did drink Kraken. Oh, okay. Well, I uh, you only sent me the first one. But yeah, the I'm first really one excited to wild grouse. I'm really <laughs> excited to uh, have you open these and watch you get hilariously wasted. We have also taken safety precautions as well. Safety so precautions I, taken. I have plenty of water. I got some snacks here as well. I've eaten before doing this, so I'm not doing it on a, an empty Please stomach. do not try this at home. And, uh, yeah. That, I mean, technically, you actually said in this third one, do not try this at home. But <laughs> Who loves self-destruction more than this guy? Please don't answer that. All right, are you ready? All right, so let's... I'm going to start off the traditional way with Jim Beam. All right, and I'm going to remove the platform from the box. Also, I'm, I'm going to make sure that open. there's like 10 minutes between each, uh, each shot, um, as per... Jordan suggestion. You, you know Jordan. And I need one of these when you're done, incidentally. Oh, okay. So here is shot number shot one. one. Bing! We'll add like a, a shot counter. I think I'll oh, take that's one. great. I'll take one of those. Yep, go ahead. This is a successful adventure. Skull. And, and oh, God I was, damn, I love that. I was in the other room when, when Greg was picking me out, picking these out, and I was like, he, he was saying things like, "Oh, I gotta have this." In oh there. yeah, these are some great transformers. <laughs> these are some great boxes. All, All right, right, so let's go ahead and start. All right, what's the first one, Greg? Uh, the first one's going to be. I'm not looking in the box. This one. Ah, this is Henke Cyclonus. Um, Henke uh, is a Japanese toy line. Uh, mainly, as far as I, as far as I know, based off the universe toy line, but has chrome parts on it. And this is Cyclonus, uh, who was uh, Galvatron's second in command, starting with the movie and going into season three. I picked this up at uh, Otakon one year. Oh, excellent! It's really cool. And actually, I do have a bucket of accessories over here. Oh, nice! So he does have an accessory that I'm going to show off as well. I'm not going to go too much can into you, the transformation. Can you open him up? Can you transform him? Because I like sure. seeing the how much more difficult the transformations game while inebriated. Sure. Actually, I chose him because he was purple, mm -hmm. and because he sort of reminded me of an angel from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll pick that one. I'm not going to go into too much detail, like describing the transformations as I normally do. And also, all of these are probably going to have regular reviews later on. Um, because Lord knows that when I get lo um, further in, I'm not going to be intelligible <laughs> for regular reviews. I, I kind of like the way this guy transforms. It's not basic, um, but it's not too complicated. It's not one of those basic transformations. Well, the it's basic not like one of those too. pumpkin spice 
okay. latte yoga pants transformers. No, it's not downward facing dog transformer. It's not basic Becky transformer. Basic Becky. It's 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 a transformer that listens to Death Heaven. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know half of what you said. Um, <laughs> I actually I put the arm I love that. Alright, there we go. And there is Cyclonus in his robot mode. Alright. Cy- like I am Cyclonus. My so, arm is dangling off like it was ruined in the robot <laughs> war. I must go to the robot veterans hospital. <laughs> Zan koku no yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm not gonna. Hopefully, go. that'll be the only Evangelion joke of the night. Hopefully, um, yeah, the articulation is pretty good. Um, I like the way he transforms. He looks pretty much like he did in the show. What do you give him out of ten? Ten Transformers out of ten. Oh, I don't know. I didn't think of giving him scores. Uh, give him a score. Eight. Eight out of ten! Woo! He also comes with a target master. Um, oh, target masters are little dudes that turn into guns. And I don't remember what the target master's name is, and I'm not going to look it up, but... Uh, is he a zip gun? No, he's not a zip gun. <laughs> uh, remember when you got really drunk and played Mega Man X? Yes. And ended up playing Storm Octopus the stage twice because you forgot that you played it? Uh, because I forgot that the power-up was there, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess we already did get that. I will, I will be completely honest with you folks, I do not remember in any way, shape, or form getting that heart tank. We're gonna go past that. Wait, I gotta do Cyclonus again! Wait, wait, I didn't review this purple one! <laughs> so that's same with the gun. And awesome. The gun can also attach to the top of the vehicle mode. There's really not much else to say on this one, so... All right, cool. So uh, we're just gonna wait a few minutes and wait a few uh, minutes, do the next shot, and yep. review the next bomb. All right, let's do shot number two. Let's shot number two. I'm gonna do this this El Dorado rum. We'll try the rum. Yep, very good rum. I've never had this rum before. It smells good. It's His the, hand is shaking, folks. It's kind of a cumbersome bottle. Well, it's it, it's, it's your expensive stuff that you brought from home, and it's I don't good want stuff. I don't want you. Well, to, I wanted to share it with you. Well, I know. Right. I, I just don't want to waste it by dropping it or something like that. And shot number two. Down the hatch. <laughs> and here's your bot! It's warm. Part of him fell off, but his perceptor. Oh, oh shit, oh shit, hang on. That's okay. The scope has a tendency to fall off anyway. Um, this is perceptor. Uh, he, this is Titan's return perceptor. Uh, you'll notice that if you're keen on the whole toy line thing, most of these are going to be within the Prime Wars trilogy. Either Titan's return or Power of the Prime is because that's when I really got back into collecting. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Perceptor, he's a microscope. Uh, he, he showed up in Season 2, um, and he was a big character in the uh, movie as well. Microscope actually does work. Not, oh, it works? Yeah, you can look down I there. I know that. I zoom picked in. him because he's a microscope. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it does work, kind of. I mean, it, I mean, it works, but not. it's not great. Can you do scientific research with it? Not particularly great scientific research. Now, he does come with... Uh, <laughs> some extra, extra stuff here. He does have a gun, which doesn't really fit well on his alt mode, so I didn't keep it on there. And he also has a Titan Master, which uh, doesn't really have a place where... Because most of the, these guys, they can they can uh, ride in the vehicle mode. And this is, that a, is a tiny little head. I don't know if you can... Yeah. That is a um, tiny head. Yeah, I, don't, I guess you don't know about... Help me! You don't know about the Headmasters. They're literally heads. Well, what it was was back in the 80s when they did it, the, the Headmasters were like little robots that could ride in the alt modes, and mm-hmm. then they, when they combined, they formed the head of the uh, the robot mode. Okay. And Titan's Return basically brought that back and turned a lot of non-Headmasters into Headmasters, and that's what that's the reason why we oh, have okay. this guy here. His name is Convex. You want to transform the... Transform the... Perceptor, yep. Transform Perceptor. So, uh, I can already see the angry comments. Wait, did you have him when you did I did that on purpose, actually, <laughs> because I just know that they're robots in disguise, and that uh, Michael Bay butchered them. The Transformers fans hate the Michael Bay. It depends. In general, though, yeah. I think so. Okay, okay, that's good. I, I don't like. Them. I I thought the first one was okay. I saw the second and third ones and thought they were crap. The second movie was like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Once we get all ten shots in, we should tr- have you play some Bayonetta. See how that goes. Oh god, sure, we'll, re- we'll record that if we have time. There's the head. Oh, you snap his, his freaky head on. There yep. you go, yeah. Oh, and, then, and then the uh, the electron microscope becomes a cannon of death. Yep. I fucking love science. 
So that's Perceptor. Not my favorite of the uh, of the figures I've gotten so far, but I like him. I just kind of like his design. Pretty much why I picked him up. There's apparently also like a unofficial third mode with this, um, because apparently this is based off of a mold where he turned into like a tank or something. I'm gonna attempt to make that. Yeah, it's probably good that I did this after two shots and not eight. Yeah, because I don't really know how it goes. I've only tried it like once myself and really didn't care, but um, okay. seeing as we're trying to keep like 10 minutes in between shots, may as well kill some time with this. Because um, there's actually like, extra parts that'll fold out and you can see that they're, um, they're tank treads on there and wheels. Okay. So they actually kept those on there without adding in this third mode in the instructions or anything. So you gotta kind of figure it out yourself. Actually, let me see if I can find a picture of... You can see he is fully articulated at the points of the knees and the elbows. And as you can see, he also has no head. It was removed by Optimus Prime in the Great Transformers War of 1987. And it was, uh, he's the only Transformer to get along without a head. He'll yeah, never be the head of a major corporation. And here's a picture. Here, let me see if I can recreate this. Oh, he does look like a tank. Look at that. He's a little Blitzkrieg. What is his name again? Perceptor. Impactor? Perceptor? There is, I think there is one called Impactor. All right, this is about as good as I'm going to get. But there is the tank mode. But there is a version of the tank mode. In this one, it becomes not only a, a arm mount cannon, but oh, there it goes. The, yeah. uh, well, the that, that's better. The electron microscope becomes a tank cannon, a Vulcan gun. There is the wayward head. I have it between my toes. One moment. One moment, you two. That sentence was uttered. I have the head between my toes. Before. I always thought I'd be saying that in like a clips for sale video. Not so oh much. God. Not so much YouTube. Mm. I never. Ah. <laughs> I never thought we'd be saying that at all. Well, when you do the ten shots, ten bots challenge, you never know what is going to. You happen. had one. I've had uno. You've only had two. Yeah, You're but only twice as drunk as I am. That's the real, the real journey here. The, uh, the real 10 shots, 10 bots, the friends we made along the way. 10 shots, 10 bots, 10 kaiji. We see you. I don't know if he watches the toy stuff or not. I know he watches... We see you. I know he watches the gaming videos. We see you. Hi there. Hey, girl. Please don't freak out the 10 kaiji. The 10 kaiji. I want you to know that I respect you. We're sorry. I'm sorry. He can hold his gun too. I should probably. Oh, he can hold a gun. He can hold. The, he can hold that. He is a gun. machine. He is a machine of death. This is the ultimate. The ultimate congruence of capitalism and death. Right, let's go ahead and do shot number three. Okay. I try it this time. I'm gonna Jameson. try the Jameson. Um, I think I remember. Cause I remember I got a mini bottle from it from the uh, the liquor store. Your. Let me just get a little bit. I have the bot ready. I'll give it to you as soon as the liquor hits your system. That pours out quickly. Like I said before, when I thought I think it's I tried this, Irish love. I wait a minute. I, I am of Irish descent, so hopefully I should like this. It'll be like ambrosia to you. All right, hopefully. Shot three. It's gold. Oh my God! <laughs> you got seven more to go. And here's bot number three. Slag. It's slug. <laughs> Whatever they want to call him now. Slug. Um, I'm gonna. I, been calling him Slug because that's what they call him now. He used to be called Slag, but they changed it because uh, in certain European countries like the UK... I was gonna say, isn't Slag like a like a slutty woman in like Britain? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So they've renamed him Slug. Oh, you bloody Slag! Slug is one of the Dinobots who transform into dinosaurs, which is pretty much why I think that Greg picked this, because he likes dinosaurs. <laughs> and Jurassic Park is like his favorite movie. I picked movie. him because he's a dinosaur. Yeah. Did you pick all of the Dinobots? We will see. We will see. We will see. Um, I actually just got this recently, like within the past week, and um, oh, nice. I like him a whole lot. Uh, he's the angry boy of the um, of the uh, Dinobots. The angry boy. He gets into arguments even with their leader Grimlock from time to time. And uh, also, uh, this is Power of the Prime Slug. One of the things that they did with the auto because they, made, they brought the, all the Dinobots out for Power of the Prime, and they all combine into a big robot, which they hadn't done before. Now, obviously, if we don't have all of the uh, all of the Dinobots out, I'm not going to do that, but uh, let's at least transform into his robot mode here. Some of the uh, transformation parts are... Transform. Yeah, he can transform. Uh, I'm assuming that's, like, one of, like, three prime necessities in order to be a transformer. It must be plastic. 
it must transform, <laughs> and it must appear in a cartoon, well, or yeah. comic book, or video game, or some sort of media franchise. Yeah, some of these characters actually make bigger appearances in the uh, comics than they do in the cartoons or whatever games. So I'm be honest, a little bit. A little bit. Not the biggest fan of Jameson. Because um, I, I remember I did try some during that, uh, what was one of my drunk runs? I think it was during one of my Mega Man ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I'm, and I was like, I'm of Irish descent, I should like this. And I'm like, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I got I had a mini bottle of it from the uh, from liquor store that night. Oh, very good. What is up with the people who go to the uh, liquor store, by the way, and buy the entire case of the airplane bottles? I don't understand that. Party favors? Are they going to the movie? Well, I got I, I got uh, it for free. A really shitty movie. It, it was like leftover for, from a promotion, and I know I know the assistant manager who works there. Oh, okay. Through, through my brother, so he kind of just gave it. He to gave me. you free alcohol, and you, an underage thirteen-year-old boy, thirty-three. Thirteen. <laughs> okay. Here's Slug. He's pretty cool. Oh, you bloody slag! Walking yeah. around with them hot little pants. Now he does have <laughs> accessories to go with him, which I put over here because it looks really dumb when it's actually attached to him in like in the alt mode. <laughs> so he's got a gun. That's pretty standard, is having a gun or a sword. But he's also got this thing. This thing is basically the main gimmick. You could say a power of the prime is called Prime Armor. Prime Armor. And it can. Uh, that's also a thing that they they charge for in Warframe. Me, probably. He okay. makes the world around use prime armor. And I just can't get over the fact that there is a transformer named Slag. Formerly known as Slag. You know, uh, weirdly related, I was laughing my ass off the other day for no reason, imagining what if uh, Ki David Tennant's Kilgrave and Jessica Jones had been a chav. <laughs> she comes across like a traumatized young woman and she was like, he came in and he, he told me to give him me mobile. <laughs> Much like we had the Titan Masters with Titan's Return, we have Prime Masters, the power of the Primes that are supposed to hold the sparks of the original 13 Primes or whatever. This has some repro labels on there, aftermarket stickers to make them look prettier. From okay. toyhacks.com, uh, link in the description. Toyhacks.com. Pretty good stuff there. The gimmick is that you can put the Prime Master in there like that, and then you can attach to his chest. You can put the Prime Master and the Prime Armor and then become the Prime Slag. But uh, it's uh, it's kind of a stupid gimmick in all honesty. I mean, I like I like the way the Prime Masters look. They come with little pretender armors. The Prime Slag is also like the person who helps cover up the child molestations on the DC, by the way. It's based off of Metal Hawk. Metal um, Hawk! Was he the guy who was on the Judas Priest Painkiller album cover? No, that was Screaming for Vengeance. I know. Screaming for Vengeance is my favorite Judas Priest album, by the way. It's a good one. Yep. That's right, shit. Painkiller is the, so this was the your... motorcycle. I'm... This is your uh, your bonus figure for the nice. day. I must commit honorable suicide for mixing up my Judas Priest album. Ah, no one will shit. notice. But this also forms, like, when he... If you decide to make him an arm for the combined mode, this mm -hmm. also makes the hand. Oh, okay. So I that's... am the chest, and I am the hand. Right, so so it's, it's like a David Lynch, uh... Like, attachment. Sure. The evolution of the <laughs> So that's, uh, that's, that's slug, that's or slag, or what do you want to call it? That's, that was about three. Are you more drunk than I am? Bot three. And we're ready for shot four. Shot four. And bot four. Going back to Jimmy. Pick there. out bot four while you pick out your... Uh, I kind of looked in the box and saw one of them. Oh, Sorry. Okay. That was my fault. Oh, that's it. So I know which You one. won't remember soon anyway. Uh, I'll, I'll know which one to expect coming up at some point in the future. Shot for a quattro. Shots four. And here's bot number four! Highbrow! Highbrow? Yep, highbrow. He's actually, he's a Titan's Return highbrow. So he's another headmaster like Perceptor was, but in the cartoon and the toy line stuff, he actually was a headmaster. His favorite TV show is The Wire. His favorite author is Cormac McCarthy. Mm -hmm. No, it's Bruce, actually. Um, what else can he be highbrow about? He has a favorite play. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure he has a favorite movie, too. Like, uh, I don't know. Insert highbrow movie here. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys! <laughs> okay, so uh, he turns into this cool little helicopter. But if I had any complaints, really, it would be uh, the rotors kind of bump into each other, as you can see here. Oh, well, yeah! They, unless you time them perfectly. Unless you time them perfectly, but that's fine. Seeing as he's actually a, a vehicle here, 
you have a Titan Master in the cockpit like that. Nice. So you can take him out. Oh, he's a little cockpit figure. Yep. Look at that. That's the... Does he transform? Does he transform cockpit man? He turns into the head. Oh, he does! He transforms too! He turns from a man into a face. <laughs> that is so cool! You didn't say that with Perceptor. <laughs> um, but that was just a uh, face. That was just a face. That wasn't a man that turns into a face. Yeah, it was. It just we'll doesn't... have to reverse the tape and find out. It doesn't have any a lot of detail on that. The one. gun is good. <laughs> the penis is evil. Uh, also, um, the little guns can come off the, the bottom here. While they do make the, the the guns that he holds in robot mode, they can also combine together. And if you have like another, let's let's take Vector Prime back out here. Okay. So you can like have him sit in sitting here like that and you can kind of <laughs> just have him hanging off the bottom of the eyebrow like this just kind of off the side it looks really dumb but it's something that you can do which is that, that does look really dumb wow they kind of fudged a lot of those I can't believe a Transformers toy oh. <laughs> as long as it does something awesome Transform him. Yeah. Let's transform highbrow all the actual headmasters at least the Autobots all have eyebrow had uh, had names uh, like kind of like head things like there was highbrow there was chrome dome there was uh, brainstorm uh, head cheese earwig brain salad surgery like one of the uh, one of the seven consoles was mind wipe I think I'm not exceptionally well versed in the in headmasters but I do know that it was um, optical trauma um, in the uh, in the American cartoon it um, the headmasters stumbled. debuted during. Um, during season four, which um, was really just like a three-part introduction, and then was promptly canceled. Nice. And then in Japan, they actually had a whole Headmasters cartoon. Halloween so on the Headmasters. <laughs> I thought I would be the one who would die in this. Oh, he's okay, folks. The lights all go too far, Joe. And there he is. Hold that straight. There he is. Transform! Looks pretty cool. He also has this little panel on his chest that kind of can pop out for no reason. Mm -hmm. um, I do plan on getting the um, the repro labels for him, but uh, he has a little stat readout as they did in the Japanese cartoon. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see what you think. Awesome. He's very cool. He's yep. very highbrow. I, uh, I he like actually looks more of like a, like a Miami Vice guy than a highbrow. Well, they were made in the 80s. But yeah, I, I like him. I don't like him as much as some of my other figures, but um, I needed. I also wanted the guy that had like a flying alt mode, and I barely had any of those, so. Awesome. So that's that. All right, let's do shot number five. All right. More fire, because... More fire. I had this in the fridge, and it well, goes down... fire with fire. It, it goes down so much smoother when it's cold. We all shall die. Dun, 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 dun. We would play that here at this point, except we would get a copyright strike from... Yeah. That's what, yeah, and that's why I'm playing music that'll get us copyright strike by Capcom. Yay! Shot five. Cinco! Down the hatch. And... Halfway there. Whoa, here's your fifth part. It's swoop. 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 Swoop it in doop. Scoop it in poop. He put in all the Dinobots. Scoop de whoop de poop. Yes, I did. Shut up. <laughs> you did? Probably. Okay, so... This is Swoop, he's a Pteranodon, as you can tell. He's... <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Keep he's, going. He's only had one shot. I know. And he's acting more drunk than I am. I know. I'm having fun. Yep. Of all the Dinobots, I think this one's kind of the weakest. Because of, uh, it just kind of is, um, he has a lot of, like, really, like, thin parts, I guess you could say. And he flops around a bit when he's in robot mode, but, uh, he still looks cool. Mm -hmm. And his mouth can open. His mouth can open. Damn it! Open! <laughs> it can. That's a line from Transformers the movie. Also, oh shit, what are we gonna do now? This is a kid's film, by the way. There, this guy, his mouth can open. Also, all the Dinobots refer to themselves as me, name here. Because they all speak like cavemen, so like it's like me, Grimlock, me, Swoop, me, Slag, whatever. But uh, Transformation's pretty cool. What exactly? They're like, me, Slag, me, Hurt, other Decepticons. Yes, yeah, that's how they talk. Oh, like me, like me, me slag uh, uh, attack Megatron or whatever. Um, oh, okay. 
or uh, like Grimlock. Grimlock has like the best lines because, uh, especially when they made him like kind of comic relief in season three. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite lines is "Me Grimlock, no bozo, me king." That's like everyone's favorite line, really. Me Grimlock, me am your father. Are you gonna be able to, to transform him? Yeah, it was just a little. It's a little uh, tab I had to grab onto to get his um, cool handout. So here is Swoop in robot mode. Robot Swoop. Yep. And he has a sword. Oh, let's see his sword. He also has prime armor, but I'm not going to show off the prime armor gimmick again. The swoop sword. Swoop sword. Uh, that's a sword. Um, but yeah, he's got... He, he feels he feels a little bit cheaper than the others, in my opinion. That's because he's, like, a lot slimmer and stuff, but, uh... He's still really cool, I think. Um, oh, yeah, he definitely has such a cheaper feel. He is definitely bendy. Yeah. You can... You can Bring out the Jesus Christ pose! <laughs> there you go. Swoop died for your sins. Apparently, you uh, according he to... He came not to bring peace, but a sword. According to the uh, the Transformers wiki that I read sometimes, apparently there was like like some meme going around saying like him swoop have legs that go for miles, <laughs> and that like ended up like in an official thing. Nice. Meanwhile, the Silent Hill wikis just have massive uh, derailment arguments about which characters in the Silent Hill universe are circumcised. <laughs> really? Yes, you should read about the, the wiki Silent Hill circumcision meltdown at some point. It, it was one guy who was making like thousands and thousands of uh, edits to the Silent Hill wiki and nobody could stop him. And it was all about, <laughs> about the evils of circumcision. It was, it's amazing. Was he just trolling or? Oh no, yeah. he was a crazy person. Oh, okay. But, uh, I'm I'll like, that between shots. I'm like, there's, there's like, there's only like one, like two ways it could go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's Swoop. He's pretty cool. He makes an arm for uh, the combined form. And feeling, we're halfway there. How are you feeling so far? I'm doing pretty good. Um, so I'm, far. I'm half expecting it to be like, uh, like Thew's third one, where like all of it, it hits me at once. Um, before we go on to shot number six, uh, I did tell Greg that there's uh, bonus points. I oh, mean, bonus points. Points that don't really go toward anything, but Points don't matter. I do have a six shot. If this next figure is six shot, which he doesn't know, then he'll get bonus points. But uh, I don't even know if six shot is in the box. He doesn't know. I don't but, know. Uh, we'll shot. try. We'll yeah. see, find out. But uh, here's another here's another bonus for you. Even if we don't get six shot, if all of the if all of the Dinobots are in there, I will I will combine them and oh, show nice. off the combined form. All right. But only if all five are in there. How many are there so far? Two. Okay. I so, don't think all five are in there, but okay. Okay, I'm definitely feeling it now. Good! I'm really feeling it. What a bunch of jokers. Yeah, Shulk, get it stuck in! Oi, oi! I didn't write that. I just called it like a season. Strange things are afoot over at the Silent Hill Wiki, and it has everything to do with one of the site's own administrators. Alex Shepard, an admin with more than 40,000 contributions, an admin was doing that? made over a span of six years, has dedicated a, a considerable portion of his time, this is an article about this from Bloody Disgusting, by the way, a considerable portion of his time to help build a comprehensive database of information for several survival horror games, including the wikis for Clock Tower, Rule of Rose, and Parasite Eve, among others. <laughs> now, Alex Shepard is all about protecting those baby penises. <laughs> It started when someone spotted an 800-word diatribe on the topic of male genital mutilation nestled in a character bio, posted by you-know-who. It wasn't until the irrelevant rant was removed that he chose to have a rather spectacular implosion. You're a fucking horrible human being for advocating genital mutilation. And 99% of Americans who advocate mutilating penises are fucking brainwashed morons, wrote Alex Shepard in response to the anonymous user who edited his post. Circumcision can have a huge effect, capitalized, and huge influence, also capitalized, on the development of a human being's psyche. It's the truth. What you are trying to do is erase American history and hide the truth. Seriously, don't be on the wrong side of history. It's like trying to delete the Holocaust article on Wikipedia saying it's some anti-Holocaust or anti-Nazi rant. That's how brainwashed you sound. Hello, me. Meet the real me. <laughs> this one's good. The NY Mag. I'm just going to read the, the headline. It's, this video game site is suddenly very fixated on circumcision. <laughs> but yeah, I the, the Storify is gone. Um, 
There was a hole here. It's gone now. This one's going to be... Is this the Storify? Yeah, no longer available. The Storify had the whole thing in just a ma in like insane detail, and it just gets, gets crazier and crazier and crazier with this guy. But um, Yeah, it was the Great Silent Hill Circumcision Wiki Meltdown of 2017. Uh, pretty much ever, I it was on Reddit. It was on something awful. It was a big thing. That's pretty hilarious. Baby penises. Yeah, he wrote a whole thing about how the villain in Silent Hill Four. I cannot remember what his name was. Uh, I know who you're talking about, though. I don't remember. Was his name the way he was because he was adopted into a. He was raised in an orphanage. Twenty. And when he was in the orphanage, he was circumcised. Despite the fact that circumcision is never mentioned in any way in any of the Silent Hill games. But. And that this was the reason that he became evil with but circumcision. Was Harry Townsend circumcised? I don't know. I bet James was not circumcised. Well, James wasn't in Silent Hill 4. I think it was mentioned in Silent Hill. He was in Silent Hill 2. He was in Silent Hill 2. It was Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head. Pyramid Moil. <laughs> <laughs> It's James' is circumcision a <laughs> life. That's why it's, it's to hide his big rabbi beard. <laughs> take the pyramid up. Oh, you vaults! Get over here! Get over here, James! It's did, time for your Did break. he have big scissors? No, that's the guy from Clock Tower. That's the guy from Clock scissors. Tower. He had the big, like... <sighs> Like big, like, oh, like machete the, thing that's yeah. right behind him, which you could also use to cut off someone's foreskin in a very grisly, brutal manner. <laughs> this is a weird tangent for us to be on. That's okay. Shape. All right, shot, shot six. Shot um, shot six. Cinco. I'm gonna have I'm some more of this wrong. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. 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 Uh, just to just to let you know, I'm not gonna have any more of the Jameson. I didn't like oh, okay, no more Jameson. But I will have some more of this El Dorado rum. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, that was a nice little Duh. pork pot there. I'll make sure to get yeah. that. Yeah! <laughs> hey, I'm gonna let your light shine down. <laughs> Whoa! One of my favorite tweets of all time is, uh... Oh, I dripped a little bit, sorry. It's, uh... It's the priest, and it's like, Do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? <laughs> and it's, it's me in the co collective soul voice. Yeah! <laughs> 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 all right, number six. Let's Shot hope, six, dear let's God. Hope uh, let's hope I don't drop... Drip more at us. Here we fucking go. <laughs> I cannot believe you're doing this. Is that getting getting better? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna guess. Is this six shot? This is not six shot. Fuck. This is scrounge. Scrounge? He's a UFO! Okay, so okay, so this, this is actually part of the Combiner Wars Computron set. Computron. You can buy them at Compu, wasn't it? Which is um, basically featured my favorite, one of my favorite, like basically my favorite combiner in mm -hmm. Transformers. Uh, um, Scrounge was basically made as the uh, honorary member of the Technobots. He made like an appearance in the old Marvel comics, mm -hmm. and then has had like cameos for here and there. But they basically took uh, Cosmos and. Um, basically turned him eye-burning neon yellow and um, put Scrounge's head on him. But as you can see here, uh, he's not all uh, yellow. He's got some... Uh, it was all yellow. Sorry, that was a cold play reference. I, I apologize. I'll never do that again. Um, I have some uh, some more of the Toy Hacks 3 Pro labels on him, too, to make him look better. Um, I was actually very surprised how... Um, how cool this guy is was when I was uh, initially looking for the Titan Return stuff back when I first started collecting again. Mm -hmm. I saw Cosmos was one of them. Cosmos has the same alt mode and everything, and I'm like, ah, I didn't like Cosmos's design in the, in the show. I didn't think he was a, that great of a character, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna pass this up now. Scrounge came with the Technobots, so I pretty much just kind of got him so I could have Computron. But I was honestly incredibly surprised at how cool this guy was. Uh, you know, the, the transformation is really smooth uh, and um, satisfying. Is that, a, is that a good word? <laughs> I don't know. But like... <laughs> satisfying. Yeah. But look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See? Look at this. See, all the, all the parts just kind of slide out like this. Oh, look at that. So this is uh, the front and that turns around. Pretty complex for a Legends class, too. Yeah. And then his head pops out the top and that's... Scrounge. 
Thanks, Ground. This is a surprisingly really good figure. I didn't think I would like this figure that much, but yeah. I picked him because he was a little UFO. I was like, yeah. what the hell does he transform into? <laughs> a robot. A robot. Well, well, they all transform into robots. But well, robot. you... Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> but yeah. If you want to look at him there. Oh, he's got a tiny little head. Now, look at that. the cool thing, since he brought up Scrounge, I can show off another bonus figure with him. Because oh, he's got a little Target Master guy. Um, this is Cybax. Hi, Cybax. Cybax uh, is normally in, like, entirely that garish fluorescent uh, yellow, but thanks to ToyHacks.com, not a sponsor, I've gotten some other labels on him to make him look a lot better. I, he looks like he belongs in a ride game. So he can transform into a little, little sort of robot from a shuttle. All you gotta do is just, like, flip his wings up, and there he is. Oh, now he's 1942. Yep. And also, he can transform into a gun for... Uh, for scrounge. It's really simple. <laughs> this, there we go. There's the, there's the gun mode. So we can give that to him, and he can step in all the rum that I dripped. That works really well with him. I'm impressed. I'd be incoherent by now. I was literally thinking a little bit earlier how much more fun this would be if we had both done ten shots. Well, the, you but have to drive I, home. I would be incoherent at this point. You have to drive home. I'd so. be like this. I love robots. Now, I wanna fuck a robot. yeah, like that. <laughs> now, no, normally the way I put it is that I'm usually is usually the way I put it is I'm a lightweight, but I can take it. But I've had six shots of various liquor so far, and I'm still. I mean, I I can tell that I'm drunk, but I'm not like it's incredibly drunk. You right? Seem, you're not slurring. You don't seem terribly. Inebriated. I mean, I wouldn't trust you behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. Right. Challenge issued to you. No. <laughs> okay, both of you do ten shots and then get behind the wheel of a car. And there go the Transformer! I'm just going to leave him like that. <laughs> I'm not going to... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick him up. Drunkards I, in disguise. <laughs> That's Rado. Drunkard in disguise. I don't have a problem. I can stop whenever I want to. I. Well, we've got a few more left to go. We got four more left to go. Shot seven. Seven. Shot seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. That uh, is seven. Uh, uh, nana is in Japanese. Lucky number seven. Ichi sanchi go roku nana hachi seis. Q. Siete. This is shot ju. siete. Shot ju. Uh, that's ten. Ju. I'm not. Not even going there. What? You don't like my weeaboo styles? We boost out! Is that uh, a thing? I don't think that's a thing. I don't know. I don't think that's a thing. Alright, here comes shot number seven. This is shot number seven. More fire. Eat more pills, pillhead. You totally rule. I totally already knew that. The sun god who dwells within me. In front or in back? <laughs> Did he actually say that? Yeah, that was Captain <laughs> Murphy's response. That's like the best line in the episode. Well, Captain it's Murphy delivers back. delivers his lines like immediately after. Yes. So I, did, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't catch that till now. All right. So here's shot seven. It's so cool. So that's good. Good. All right. Oh shit! I gotta give you one. Yes, right, here's you do. Number seven. This is Henke Grimlock. So. Oh, he's the leader. Yes, he's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. Um. This so. This is going to gunfire and spurts. If he shoots you, it's gonna hurt. He's got. I picked him because he's a T-Rex, uh, or he's a dinosaur, <laughs> and he's got a sword on his back. We have a T-Rex, which is a say it again. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Oh, me <laughs> Grimlock spare no expense. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if chances are that uh, you didn't pick Power of the Primes Grimlock, because uh, I, I probably should have mentioned I had a couple of repeat characters in there. Oh. I have two Grimlocks and two Sound Waves. Oh, okay. And if we don't have Power of the Primes Grimlock, we can't make... You know what? If I survive this, uh, we'll take out Power of the Prime Grimlock and we'll make Volcanius anyway. All right. Even if you didn't pick it. And I know which... And I know what this means. Send the police. Am I this lucid after seven shots? What the That's fuck is a, wrong I, I, with me? What the hell is going what on, is... man? You've done seven shots. <laughs> I expected you to be slowing by now. I'm made of He's not a human. My circuits gleam. I am perpetual. I keep the country clean. All right, so this is Henke Grimlock, not Power of the Primes Grimlock. 
Um, I got this Zodokan as well. Um, How are you feeling right now? I'm basically the same as I, for now. You seem the same as you were two shots in. I'm really good at this, apparently. <laughs> God damn! I'm gonna feel this in the morning, but god oh damn god, if I don't yes. feel good. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, here's Henke Grimlock. He doesn't uh, transform exactly the same way as G1, um, which is kind of why I like Power of the Primes Grimlock better, but this isn't Power of the Primes Grimlock. This is Henke Grimlock. Anyway. Uh, okay, you are starting to... You, you've said that like three times now. This is Henke Grimlock. <laughs> All right. Did you know it used to be a library? <laughs> <laughs> he actually has a little bit of articulation in uh, in dinosaur mode. You can move his uh, legs pretty well. He's got like the hip joints. And the, I, I promised I wouldn't go too much into articulation. I'm sorry. I'm already apologizing. That's a good sign. Let's, let's transform him. Oddly enough, like the um, unlike the, uh, the G1, like his head forms like the the legs. Mm -hmm. But he looks really cool with the chrome. I he does. Say. He's a very cool looking customer. Yeah, I got, I got the Sedoticon as well. Oh god! At some, at some point. That actually makes a weapon of, of sorts. Help me! Why would the tail say help me? <laughs> Why would I pick my nose with a tail? You wouldn't! That's you wouldn't the answer! steal a car! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, if I could download a car, you're damn right I would. I am surprised at how well I'm transforming things. I'm, at I'm this surprised point. at how. I'm a little worried about how well you're handling all this liquor. I was made for this challenge. <laughs> I was fully expecting to go into this to come out saying never do this challenge, or and, and I will never do this challenge don't, again. Don't say it too early, because you've still got three shots left, and three shots is a lot of shots. It is. Three shots is a good buzz. I mean, so okay, okay, so. That might push you so, over the edge into ranting about chemtrails and Ayn Rand. And, <laughs> and, and, uh. That's, that's me when I. What else, what, what am I into? Besides Transformers. I don't even fucking know. Video games? Uh, the video games. Po podcast? The, the, the point is, like, I was expecting to go into this saying, um, I will never do, like, by the end saying I will never do this again. But right now, I'm at the point where I'm, uh, I would probably say I would maybe do this again. But then again, we haven't had shots 8 through 10 yet, so. We, we're still, uh, there's still some, somewhere left to, to hoe. I'm like outpacing few by now. I know. I mean, we're doing them quick. I mean, I'm still waiting in like between ten hours. They're not ten hours, ten minutes. <laughs> That's why you're not feeling it. You're waiting ten <laughs> hours after each shot. We have been here over the course of a week. All right, here's a here's a here's a. Greg wants to I'll go see you in ten hours. Greg wants to go home to his family. My family <laughs> needs me. My wife and child. It's I'm okay. Drinking. It's okay, Cooper. He'll be home soon. <laughs> Blinking, uh, are I, mean, you, I was actually blinking YYZ in Morse code. I are you really? Yeah, I was blinking YYZ. I Morse couldn't go. I couldn't. I don't know Morse code. Um, I was just like da 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 da. Is that what that is? That is. That's YYZ in Morse code. You didn't know that? No. I mean, it's an awesome song, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't that's YYZ in Morse code. The more you know. I'm totally gonna do this again. <laughs> I mean, once I have more than fucking that, 25. Da, 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 that's why. And so it's da 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 and then da 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 is Z. Let's get back to the figure, shall yeah! we? The reason Woo! we're all here! Here's Grimlock in his robot mode. Doodle doo. Okay. Is he the, the something or other Grimlock? He is. The, the dark deceit Grimlock? No. <laughs> you kept saying he's the fucking Grimlock. He's the gri fucking Grimlock? I'm the fucking Grimlock! Oh! Line up, ladies! <laughs> okay, so... Uh, he's got light piping in his head. Light piping? Do you know what that is? No. Okay, so you see this little transparent bit of red there? Yes, I do. If light shines through that, it shines through to his eyes. Oh, neat! That's what light piping is. Light piping. For those who don't know. He looks really cool. I mean, I like I like the uh, the, the, G the Gen 1 and uh, Power of the Primes Grimlock a little bit more, but this is still really cool. Awesome. It's got a little Autobot symbol on his chest there, and oh, also, going back to the, um, okay. He's got a spring-loaded gun. Shoot the screen, shoot the screen. I'm not gonna shoot the screen. Shoot I don't the wanna screen. break my fucking camera. Shoot the screen, you'll miss. No. <laughs> shoot 
Let's okay. trade. Anarchic Glee. Oh, no gods, no masters. Hopefully I can find that later. It's, oh, it just lays It's right there. there. He can hold that if he wants to. Also, he holds, he can hold his tail like a little, I don't know, like a bludgeon or a, like a whip weapon of sorts. This is fully articulated here. That's pretty awesome in and of itself. I like Power of the Primes Grimlock more, but this is still a really good figure. Power of the Primes, that's the one I was thinking of. Was it? Yes. Dark Deceit is apparently what my mind goes to, the Power of the Primes. Oh! Also, technically his, uh, his dino head has light piping too. Oh! I didn't really show that off. It may have come up on the camera, but... Cool. Oh, well. Oh, Cho! Oh, Cho! Oh, Cho! Oh, Cho! It's time for shot eight. Mother shot eight. Do shot eight. Shot eight. Shot eight. Bot eight. Shot eight. Bot eight. More fire, please. You're fired. I was doing more Mr. Krabs, less of our president. Time for the Ocho. Am I really going to defile this grave for money? Of course I am! <laughs> that is something he said, isn't it? It is, yeah. The Dutchman's treasure! Boom! Oh, you moved slightly to the side so they couldn't see the drink as you drank it. That means you have to do another one. Okay! Sure. No, they're not sure that you did it. Oh, dear God, he's really feeling it. Okay, <laughs> bot number eight! I love this one. Oh, it's classic sound wave! Okay, so... Sound wave? You probably already know about sound wave if you know anything about Transformers, mm. but for Greg's sake, I will still explain. Uh, Soundwave is like the um, espionage guy of the Decepticons. I was about to say this is the first Decepticon we've done, but that's a lie, that's Cyclonus. He turns into a tape deck and can actually shrink down to tape deck size. Uh, Soundwave is like a fan favorite. Um, I've always liked Blaster more. Blaster's kind of like the, uh, the Autobot equivalent to Soundwave. Uh, but classic Soundwave, um, they were going for more of like the original G1 aesthetic for him. Um, but they went for, like, there was, like, a later mold that had, like, a double-wide cassette door. Because, um, one of Soundwave's things was that he had a cassette door that could open, and, like, cassettes would pop out, and cassettes would be Decepticons as well. So is that how, is that how Decepticons make a baby? No, it is not. Okay. But... It's like home taping is killing music, except it's home taping is killing the universe. We, we have basically three figures here, because Classic Soundwave came with Laserbeak and Ravage. So you can push the button here. Oh that my opens goodness. Up, oh my goodness. And you can take out little cassettes. Oh shit, I knew I made a good pick here. <laughs> yeah. You're loving this. Oh my god, quarter card, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, the original Soundwave only had, like, space for one cassette, but because... I guess because this came with two cassettes, they, they had the double-wide door, but, um... Mm -hmm. and this one's that one's nice. Ravage. You can transform that if you want. I will try. He's trying to transform Ravage. Here's Laserbeak. I'm gonna transform Laserbeak real quick. Also, oh, oh, there's there's things for him. These will go with him. Oh, is that Ravage? Is he, like, a, like a dog thing? He's a panther. He's a panther. Did I do that right? Yeah, you did. Nice. You did a good job. Awesome. Greg is uh, Transformers Master now. <laughs> now he has things that go on him too. Um, these little booster things will go in the. They all come with accessories. Oh, they all have. They also has the rub signs on them, so it has the, the Decepticon symbol. That's Ravage. Thank you, Greg. You're welcome. Okay, so that's Ravage transformed more or less. Um, I say more or less, but he he did it right. But just, I did just the um, the legs. In order for him to stand up, they gotta be put in like a certain position. That's really persnickety, and I don't really care. Um, we got Laserbeak, who's the other cassette. I mentioned Laserbeak previously in the Buzzsaw review because mm -hmm. Laserbeak and Buzzsaw shared the same mold in like everything. But here's Laserbeak as a cassette. He's a a, uh, a bird. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Hi, girl. Laser beaks really easy to transform. Well, I mean, these are. Sound waves easy to transform, too, in all honesty. It's just they got these little accessories with them, too. To... Mm -hmm. There was like a like a masterpiece version of these that were made later that. Um... I put these on backwards. Um, that uh, actually had like these bits built in. But uh, there's Laser Beak. Okay. Cool. Cool little... Oh, he looks awesome. Yeah. You can look at him before. He looks like uh, some sort of, like, Tron bird. 
now, really like that. Now, for Soundwave himself... This is something from, like, the old Battlestar Galactica series. That's really cool. I like the chrome. Um, that's actually really fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> now, one of the cool things about Transforming Soundwave... He has a clip on there, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you want to put him on your belt for some reason. It's got little batteries in there. Are they actual batteries, or no. are they just no, no, fake they're plastic? They're fake plastic, but they turned into weapons for him. What? <laughs> You're okay. shitting me. No. Oh, that's awesome. You're going to see how this goes, man. This is ba this is based off like the G1, so it's very... Um, clunky in 80s. Clunky in 80s, but very simplistic compared to the others that we've seen to this point. Mm -hmm. And that's sound wave. Oh, uh, uh, this one goes on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And he can... This one actually kind of goes out like that. And... There's like a little missile like no one Oh, it's got a shooting missile. Now, the original version had like spring-loaded missiles and could shoot out, but nice. the classics version, they opted to take the spring out. Okay. So this doesn't shoot. Probably some dumb kid ruined it for everybody, got his eye shot out. Yeah. Ruined some ultra-fun toy with its stupid lifetime of damage <laughs> to his ocular vision. Now, the, the button can still work. But there's no spring in it, so... No springs! Beep, beep! But this still looks really cool. Yeah, he's real cool. If you want to look at him, too. He is a cool dude. I yeah. am Soundwave. Soundwave. Not Shockwave. I am Soundwave. Shockwave is actually a different Decepticon, believe it or not. Uh, I don't the have him. from Home Alone carried me. <laughs> Did he really? No. He Probably a, would have. He had a Walkman thing. But oh, oh yeah. Oh. Got it. It, it, I get it now. Yeah, okay. I got the joke. But that's like a fan favorite. Yeah, oh, know? yeah, definitely. I mean, I, like I said, I like Blaster a little bit more. Um, but, uh, you know, Soundwave's still pretty cool. He has, like, the whole cassette gimmick and everything. So, yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit worried at how well you're handling eight shots of liquor, by the way. I'm oh, drunk. Shit. I'm drunk. Oh, I know. Let me, let, let me tell you. I'm so aware, but... I was wondering what we drink first. Your spirit <laughs> or your body? <laughs> this is all going in, incidentally. Uh, this is the Bane cup, by the you way. You're doing the Bane voice into the cup is going in. Anytime that I've done the Bane voice into the cup, this is the cup that is used. I stole this from work, like, months ago. What a lovely, lovely voice. <laughs> the games would you, begin! Would you say your theft from work was unnecessary <laughs> evil? <laughs> Do you feel in charge? <laughs> they, they find out you'll be sentenced to death by exile. <laughs> I'll crash this plane with no survivors! Ah, uh, it's a good movie. Of course! <laughs> Shot number nine! And you're to blame, honey! You review this one as Bane! Challenge accepted! Ah, <laughs> do shot number nine! Shot number nine. I'm gonna do more fire. Did I do rum or fire last time? I don't remember. I'm gonna do fire either way, cause it's still it's fine. It's still nice and cold. It's, fine. Um, it's better to do cold, cold liquor than the liquor. It is. Um, I mean, I would imagine at this point you can't really taste it too terribly much. When enjoying uh, Jim Beam Kentucky Fire, enjoy cold. Yes. That is the best way. To, I'm not, this stuff is fucking amazing. The red hills is of Jim Beam. We squat and watch the liquor for six months! Mila Kunis is not there! She's not too slow! Okay. Wow. And down the hatch! Alright, Bane. Oh, yeah! Here's, here's number nine. Oh! What a lovely box! I was kind of hoping that you would bring this in. <laughs> this is light speed! <laughs> Like. <laughs> 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 I'm regretting this! I'm regretting this! Don't regret this, Greg! This is a necessary evil! Now is not the time for regret! <laughs> that comes later! <laughs> I was- I actually was hoping that you would send- put this in Oh good! This is like, this is literally, legitimately one of my favorites. Oh, awesome. Lightspeed is based off of the Dead End Mode, which was one of the Stunticons that made Menazor. This is available as one of the Technobots that came with... I'm not gonna... I can't. Is that English? 
Yes. <laughs> I can't keep that up. I'm sorry. Okay. So okay, so this was um, this is one of the Technobots, Lightspeed. Um, or uh, hold on, I gotta process my thoughts. As you do when you're drunk. I'm really feeling it. This was part of the Computron box set, much like Scrounge and Cybax. Uh, except Lightspeed is actually one of the, the main Technobots that was seen in this show. Okay. Um, and it has some extra detail on it because of the Repro labels. Repro labels? Repro labels? Repro labels. Repro labels. It depends on how you want to pronounce it. From toyhacks.com, link in the description below. It makes a car. Uh, the reason that uh, the reason this is one of my favorites is because of how well the car mold is. I really like this mold. So, yeah. Judging by judging by the fact that I've seen the the one that he hasn't picked yet. Uh, how many have we had? Seven, eight. This, this, this is, is number nine. This is number nine. I've seen the I, I saw the one that he that he oh, hasn't shit. given me yet. So I'm sorry. That's okay though. We're still gonna form Volcano or whatever. Anyway, maybe wait till you're sober for that. No, I can do it while drunk. I'm 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 fairly sure I can. This is light speed. Yes, I've said like five times. Because of licensing issues at the time, he was he was um called Light Steed, which is a stupid name. But in like it is in the original in the original G1 and in the cartoon, it was called Light Speed. Um, this is one of the Technobots who forms Computron, who forms one of the legs, etc., etc. But uh, I just I really like this car mold. Um, it works really well. And I, I know a lot of people complained that, uh, you know, when, when this came out, it's like, oh, it's just another, another remold of Dead End, but this is the only Dead End mold I've had, so I don't care. Let's, 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 let's transform him. You're enjoying, are you enjoying this? I, I am enjoying okay, this, yes. I just want to make sure I that... I hope YouTube is enjoying it as well. The, the two of you who are watching this. Thank you, by the way, the Tenkaichi. I don't we know. could not be us without you. Yeah, that's the thing. I also have something in the um, the bucket O oh, uh, accessories for him. I can still transform him. I'm s no, don't do that. I know what I'm doing. Struggle within. It suits you fine. Struggle within. You'll seal your own coffin. There, I did it. I did it. I love. I love this guy. Now, Afterburner is still my favorite uh, of the Technobots, but uh, this comes in a, a really close second because of how well he transforms, uh, the mold that's used for the car. Um, this is a great figure. Um, and you can get this in many variations because a lot of things use the dead end mold, but uh, if, uh, if you got Computron, then you got this particular one. It's pretty great. If you want to look at it. Sure, I'd love to. You can look at it if you want. This is Computron. No, it's light speed. This is light speed. This is the story of a girl. The Great River and Drown the whole world. Oh wow. He's got like the articulation balls in his shoulders. Yeah, a wow, lot of he is nice. Yeah, a lot of the uh, generations have uh, generations stuff. Especially the Prime Trilogy have that kind of stuff. This is probably one of the highest quality ones you've handed me so far in terms of craftsmanship. Yeah. This is like legitimately... This is legitimately one of my favorites. This I, is legitimately a really well-made object. I love this guy. Like, wow. And he's I got... Impressed with the he's got a gun! And he's got a gun! Here you go. Oh, he's got a shotgun! Yeah, a shotgun. Nice! I got a shotgun. Oh, I... That is an underrated weapon for robot combat. I forgot to take out his hands. Oh, well, sure. dubs. But yeah. I got shotgun. I love this figure. This is like one of my, like legitimately one of my top favorites. You want to kiss it? No. Good. I'm not going to. Okay. That's not going to be a thing. All right. I, I got to say before you do this last shot, I am shocked at how well you have held up. Um, Take that, you're few. Uh, really, I'm a little few. You're awesome. How well you can handle your liquor. Okay, I, I, okay. Let me just say for the record that I know that I'm drunk at this point. Yes. Um, and um, you've had nine shots. Nine you're shots. Pretty fucking I'm almost drunk. going up to ten. Um, so to few. Um, can we dedicate this last shot to him? Let's just let's dedicate this last shot to few Adams. 
uh, Transformers reviewer extraordinaire for making such great things and for inspiring this video. Hell yeah. Where's the shot glass? There's the shot glass. Give me the what? shot glass. I can pour it. What do you want? You want fire? Just give me fire. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. I was about to make that joke. Ooh. What I burn! Oh, that smells good. Alright, oh, there you go. It is so good. Shot number 10. Shot number 10, and you're to blame. I'm not to blame. This was your idea. Damn, he's good. Folks, I'm amazed. <laughs> I am. And here is number 10, which you already <laughs> saw. Go which ahead. I already saw. Go ahead and review that bot. This is Titan's Return Legends, or not Legends Class, Leader Class Blaster. Now remember when I said that like I like Blaster a little bit more than Soundwave? Yes. This is Blaster, the Autobot version of Soundwave. Um, he's more of a communications officer than an espionage officer, and he's rocking the cool um, repro labels from ToyHacks.com. Link in the description! Give them some patronage, they deserve it. Uh, I think this is... Did I, did I say that I, did, I got toy hacks for, for late speed? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, good. This has it also as well. So, much like how Soundwave turns into a tape deck, uh, Blaster turns into a boombox. And, you can push a little button here, and the cassette deck opens. Oh, it pops open just like the other one. Oh, that's awesome. Now, this There's is... a Decepticon cassette. Well, or a Autobot. Autobot cassette. Well, it's let more of a, a, a... I can't uh, even trick this guy. Ten shots. <laughs> it's more of a, uh, a a remote control in this in this particular case. Okay. You can see the little play pause button on there. See. Yeah, I see it. But... I see that. Now, if you've been keeping up with my Transformers reviews up to this point, I have done reviews for Cassette Friends. There's a little man in here. I'll get to that later. Mommy, this is abandoned by remote control. So, boy, you bloody it! <laughs> one of the uh, cassette friends I reviewed before was Legends Class Rewind, and any of these cassette friends can fit in this compartment. And that's some shit. And balloons for mom. That's and I awesome. and I have this, and I have stripes, and I have uh, Buzzsaw, which became Sundor after Transform. This has, this also has repro labels on it, but. I may get to that later. Maybe. So the thing with Leader Class um, Transformers from Titans Return is that not only do they form, uh, do they have a robot mode and an alt mode, but they also have a base mode. So I'm going to make the base mode real quick, because I, I kind of want to do the, re the robot mode last. So um, first off and foremost, though, give me that... Uh, give me that Are you going to talk about the little man? Yes, I'm going to talk about the little man. So this is, uh, actually, it's a funny thing with this little man here, the, the Titan Master, is Twincast. Okay. Twincast is named after technically still the same guy. In the Japanese-only Headmasters cartoon, Blaster had a big old fight with, with, uh, with Soundwave. Okay. And either he was destroyed or he, had, he took a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of damage! And he was rebuilt um, as the same thing, but blue. But it was called Twincast from there on out. And that's where the name for Twincast, the headmaster, comes from. I dropped him. I was imploring Greg to find him for me. I was waiting to see how long it would take him to find him. Um, yeah. That's the entertainment portion. Okay, so... Where was my train of thought? Twincast was blue. Twincast was blue. But yeah, he's the same guy as this. There was another point I was getting to, but I can't remember it. Anyway, you could take the Titan Master Twin cast and you can actually put him in this. And this actually has, you can put his gun in there, the gun that I took off of him. Mm -hmm. And you can put the guy in there and it's like a little, put him in there correctly. Hold on. There. That's as correct as it's going to get, is this. You can be in a little hover tank with a gun. My heaven will be a big heaven and I'm walking through the front door. Big time. That was a Peter Gabriel reference. I gathered that. <laughs> I love that song so much. Okay, let's turn him, because like I said, like, leader class figures in Titans Return could turn to base mode. So let's turn him to his base mode, why not? 
Sure. Why not? Let's, see, let's, let's do that. Let's see if I can do that. See if I can, because I'm... God damn it. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> Greg knows what that means. It means you're drunk, Big sir. time. It means you're drunk, sir. I'm on my way. I'm making it. Oh. I should also point out, um, I got these flaps here on the side, uh -huh. like this. Um, that's because they're supposed to be like inside these parts here uh -huh. when I make the boombox mode. Okay. But because of uh, engineering flaws, they won't close up when they're in there. So yeah. I think that made sense. They won't close up when they're in there. What's not to what's not to know? I'm doing this all on camera so that I can at least capture part of this for the... Because I'm editing this a lot. You should be hearing the Solar Man song from Mega Man 10 right now. I don't really mean that. I know what I'm doing. I am an expert of Transformers. I should have waited. It was, probably should have given you a simpler one for number 10. No. I was like, oh, let me give him this huge broom box at the end. That'll be great. You know, I, 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 I half assumed that you would... That you would give me the boombox and the and the tape deck because I know you're in the music a lot. So um, yeah, I mean you know what they say about it, uh, assuming, but that just that just shows how much I know my best friend. There you go. Oh, we, does that say 30 minutes left? We have about 30 minutes left of recording time. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we've got plenty. Of time. Oh yeah, we got plenty of time here. Even if we do, and like I said, I will do the Volcanion stuff. Volcanion. Get out of here. I'm trying to get this out. Big time! I am thoroughly plastered. Hi there! This is also part of big time. This is the base mode. Oh, very nice. This actually looks really cool. Oh, 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 hold on. Let me put the gun in somewhere. And you can put, like, your Prime Masters and your target, your Titan Masters in the, the base mode, which is really, really cool. Do you agree? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I am thoroughly plastered. It took you long enough for this to hit, but it appears to have finally hit hard. Seriously? I mean, you know? Hold on. I'm turning into robot mode now. So much larger than life. Hi there. Hi there is part of it, right? Yeah. Sure. Watch it on YouTube. That's where I get, where I listen to it mostly is on YouTube. I listen to Salisbury Hill as well. I know you you uh, wanted me to listen to Salisbury Hill a lot. Yeah. It's really good. Good. Greg's like, get a load of this guy. You gotta like lift it up more so they can see what you're doing. Yes. They can see the maneuvering. This a lot of the maneuvering is gonna be off off thing though, because you know no one wants to see this shit. Like I said, there's gonna be like an actual review of this at some point later on, but, you know, I forgot to put these parts out. You'll see it in the regular review. If you follow this channel, like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to see the actual blaster like, review. Comment, subscribe. To see the actual blaster review once it comes out. Like the video and then just comment the word subscribe. I mean, to be honest, um... Tenkaichi nowadays has his name as Izumus Prime, the Tenkaichi. So I think he may be a Transformers fan, so he may be watching these. I don't know. You know, Tenkaichi, my one and only fan. I don't expect anything of it. You just do what you do. I need to watch more of his shit. Live if life! I need to watch more of his shit than anything. He's a Let's Player himself. Oh, cool. Don't you know? I, um, I did not know that. I need to watch more of his stuff. I, need I don't to, know what he's playing. I don't know what he's playing now. Um, I know he's played things in, in the past, and I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. You know, the couch is broken and all that. Your fault! No. No, it's not no, his that's fault. that's fine. <laughs> it's partially my fault, too, because I'm, I'm, I'm automatic for the people! <laughs> you know, most of this isn't going on camera. Most of this is being edited out. No, this is going to be a raw, uncut two-hour video. <laughs> also, he's a Titan Master, so he forms the head. What? <laughs> like, you know how they have the separate robots for the head? Like, with Perceptor. You saw. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Talking about motherfucking Blaster. Oh, hey! Yeah. Oh, hi, Blaster. Blaster's mold was actually used for a sound wave mold for this, uh, this particular... 
for Titan's return. Take a look. Take a look at how awesome he is. Um, like I said, I've always been a bigger Blaster fan than a Soundwave fan. And that's why I've gotten all like like stripes and and uh, and rewind and blaster. I showed off rewind, right? Put going into the yeah. Okay, okay. good. Yeah, and base mode. Yeah, you're good. You're good. I have to. I have to. Listen, launch. You haven't found a uh, launch octopus's heart though yet. I'll find it. Just you wait. Kill the kill the two years. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's empty. Oh my god, this was fun! Yeah! This was shit, so this much was fun! This ten shots, and you're... I mean, you're drunk, but you're I'm, not... Like, I'm lucid. You're lucid. You're as not far scary. as I know. You're um, a little goofy, but damn, you're doing great. Okay, I'm so... I'm impressed at your ability to hold that much liquor. Ten shots, and I would not be this lucid. Okay. I'd be laying back on this couch going, Ugh. So, as promised... As promised. I will make Volcanion, which is the Dino Box thing. Okay, so I know you put the rest of them in that other box. Other box is over here. Oh, is it? It's over back there. Coolness. I put it over there and, um. <sighs> I put a plastic bag over top of it so you wouldn't see which robots were in there. Oh, gotcha. I mean, do you want to do an 11th shot and, uh. Do you want me to? No! Okay, I won't! No, thank you. I think you've, you've hit your limit, sir. Because I can do that! No, that's okay. I can do that! That's okay. Okay, so... Here's the bonus. Here's the bonus thing. I'm gonna what make... What are we putting together? Um, we're putting all the Dinobots together to make Volcanion. Can he do it after 10 shots of liquor, folks? I'm fairly sure I can. Let's do this. I actually asked him if I should... Because I found 6 shot in there. And I asked him if I think I should do it, and he said no, so I'm not going to. So here's Power of the Prime's Grimlock in his T-Rex mode, Power of the Prime Snarl in his Stegosaurus mode, and Power of the Prime Sludge, hold on, there we go, in his Brontosaurus mode. Oh, nice. Luckily, um, going into like full combined mode, it's easier for these two to be in their dinosaur modes anyway. So let's do this shit! All right, so Snarl, do this, put his legs out of the way. I'm fairly sure there's a specific way to... And Greg is saying that uh, after all this, um, we should do some Bayonetta. Oh, I, I, we don't actually have to do Bayonetta. I can, to. I can, no, I, I totally can do you this. Can just watch YouTube videos if I, you want. No, I can do more. Okay, so, all right. we, okay, so we got some... Man's on a mission. I just want you to have a good time, too. I'm having a great time, man. We could just watch YouTube videos or whatever. We don't have to play Bayonetta. I'm cool. I'm cool, I'm cool with playing Bayonetta. Okay. All right. Bayonetta's, ah! Bayonetta's a great game. Ah! Yeah! So Sludge. Sludge is my favorite of the Dinobots, by the way. Just because of how she, how he looks. Um, and because of, like... I guess Amazon and eBay scalpers. I got this. I got all these Dinobots off Amazon, by the way. Okay. And uh, Sludge was forty fucking dollars for a deluxe class. Wow. This and, and, and normally. Oh god! I took off the door. Um, I can fix this. I can fix this. I broke him. I wet him. No, I mean I think I literally broke it. You broke a $40 transformer! I was hoping this wouldn't happen. Hold on, I just gotta put this... It's an easy enough fix. I can put the door back on with pegs. It just pegs and holes. Like father, like son? Think about it. Got it! Yeah! Fixed it! Sludge. Woo! Sludge is fixed, which is good because he's awesome. my... I mean, not only is he my favorite aesthetic-wise, mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, I always like the Brontosaurus one more. I mean, in all honesty, like I said, if you if you asked me like 20 years ago, I would have said like the Triceratops one because Triceratops was my favorite um, dinosaur back in the day. And also, I didn't know any of them belong Grim beyond Grimlock at the time, but I would have said uh, the Triceratops one. But Sludge is my favorite aesthetically at this point, and um, because of scalpers, I paid like n like 40 bucks for this guy for a deluxe class. Just, just, just for reference, uh, it goes like Legends, Deluxe, Voyager class, and Leader class. Okay. You, you said the thing about it costing forty dollars like two minutes ago. 
Five I know. Five. I know. I know I did. Okay. Alright. Two minutes from now. I want my two dollars. Alright. Sludge. Good to go. Oh god. Transforming Grimlock. And also, the two arms are, are Slag and Swoop. Okay. And they're easy enough, to, they're easier to transform into their limb modes from their robot modes. Fortune has smiled upon me this day. I got this. Trust me. Got 19 minutes. You got 19 minutes. Got, you got this. I got more than enough time. The timer's trying to... You've got a ticket to ride. I got like 16 gigs internal space on this, on this, uh... On this sub What's camera. gonna catch all 60 frames per second in all the pores in my mighty face? Yeah! Now what's this recording in? 720p? 1080p? I don't know. 80. Probably 1080? 1080. I am competent. Here we go, boops. You wanna be... I, I get it. You wanna be on, on uh, camera as least as possible. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Swoop! I can do this. You can do this. I'm the colonel. Go colonel. Go you colonel. got this. EDF. 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 Drink some more water if you need to. Oh, I don't need water for Don't this. forget to drink water. I've been drinking water. You... I know you've been drinking water. I've seen you drinking water. I'm just reminding you it's important to stay hydrated, when, particularly when you've done ten shots of whiskey and rum. I can I can tell you right now, based on this, ten shots ain't fucking nothing. Man has conquered the ten shot challenge. I mean, look at this. Ten he's building shots. a... Well, you can't see it. It's off camera. But he's building a gigantic Super Zord Transformer thing. Like, it ain't no motherfucking thing. It ain't no thing! I got this shit! Ha <laughs> ha! Thing! I know what you're referencing there. Yes. Space Mutiny. Yes, I am. You underestimate me. I'm sure a lot of people have underestimated me. I underestimated me! Hell, goddamn! 15 minutes? Yeah, hell yeah. I can, I can do this shit in 15 minutes. A lot of this is being edited out. Yeah. Boom! I did it! It's Volcanion! Volcanion. He turned all five of those dinosaurs into Volcanion. Yes. This uh. is this is freaking awesome. But, oh, hold on. I got another thing. I can put in... I got another thing! That I can put in... Uh, I can put this into his... Into the... The free Rex mouth. There, the enigma of combination. That's wow, what they, that's what they call it. I don't fucking know. Wow, this is the combined Dinobots is Volcanion. If I can, there now is you guys you see his face. YouTube. Not only did this man just do ten shots and do ten bots, he also put Volcanion. Afterwards. To be fair, I did have some water in between, but uh, yeah, that's Volcanion. No, that's that's fucking impressive. That, yes, that dude looks like he is going to straight up murder. You. I can I, hold my liquor more than I thought I could. Damn, you can, man. I am super, super, uh, duper impressed uh, with how this challenge is done. I um, had a lot of fun. As and did I. Did you having only one shot? Ah, good time was had by all. <laughs> I'm pooped. Alright, so maybe we'll record some Bayonetta footage after this. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Alright, so, um, yeah, this has been... Great success! Ten shots, ten bots. Thank you for Greg for being on the... Absolutely. Boom. Alright, and thank you for uh, joining us on Remember this... Remember to hit that like button, uh, comment below. If you'd like to see Patrick do any other wacky stunts and uh, remember to subscribe to squeeze the world gaming for more quality entertainment yes until then i've been soiling greg and i'm rado goji and we'll be here next time join us won't you yeah.